Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a review of the um, of a action figure that isn't of the Doctor Who variety for a change. It's, uh, uh, if you didn't already know, it's um, John Hart from uh, Torchwood. Um, a character that I really like in Torchwood. Could have seen a little bit more of, honestly. Um, not sure if he's in any of the Doctor Who. I mean, meant to say Torchwood. <laughs> that's how it used. To, that's how often and used to saying Doctor Who I am uh, on the channel. That I meant to say Torchwood. Like, I, I wonder if he's in the Torchwood um, uh, Big Finish audios. Because uh, again, I really like the character. It's one that I've wanted for quite a while from I think the second series of the Torchwood figure range uh, and I only say that like I don't know because I got this figure uh, where where I got it was from a place called Cosmic Toys uh, they have a website and that really good uh, sort of uh, shop in, here in the UK and um, the thing that the reason why I'm bringing up like I think it's from Wave, Wave 2 or the, series, the second series of Torchwood figures is because this figure was loose, uh, meaning just it wasn't inboxed. It still came with both the pistols, you know. Uh, I've just got one in the holster there, uh, and that. And uh, yeah, I also watched recently, literally yesterday, of this recording, a video by the YouTuber Captain Jim Pie, who basically went over some rare um, Torchwood action figures he picked up and or acquired to add to his collection and um, and so it was really interesting to hear that apparently the the mis misconception and or, or common uh, mis uh, misinformation is that uh, these were made by character options but they're not they're actually made by I think I could be wrong about this a character uh, a, a company called like Sci-Fi Collector um, and that and so they are kind of different but for example I guess the thing that makes people think that they could be just by character options is because for example like here's my Christopher Eccleston action figure um, side by side Captain John Hart and obviously you know size wise they're they're very similar uh, in terms of height even uh, and that and um, and that so that's probably one one factor to to consider uh is why maybe people can pair, pair the two as well as the fact that there are just similar similar things in terms of like the articulation and the and the and and what not and uh how they do painting in certain areas and what not but um but then again in certain areas i would say the tortured ones are uh, some of them are a little bit more detailed, uh, like this figure. Um, you know, it's just again, it's it's a character that I've wanted in my collection for quite some time, and I'm really happy with him. Uh, you know, he's got, as I say, these two pistols. Um, this pistol, the pistol could have been a bit more detailed, I guess. You know, with like painting, but in terms of the sculpt, I think it's really cool myself. You know, you've got detailing at the the bottom there as well as at the top like a little scope thing as well as like you know bits and pieces at the at the end there I mean for argument's sake as well as maybe a little bit underneath the barrel there um, for argument's sake you could just sort of say oh well there's a bit of artistic license there because these characters are from like the <clears throat> future and or 51st century if not like you know I like time agents so again their weaponry could be different from ours and so you know if it's not accurate to a I don't know, uh, desert eagle then that's probably why you know and also I think it's a little bit more fun personally myself that it's a bit more you know the the, the people making this has t have taken artistic liberty with uh, the uh, weaponry and as I said before the other the other gun is uh, nicely snugly in the uh, the sort of um, gun holster and I put it there just to see if it would fit nicely there and it does which is excellent um, a bit of a shame that I'm I don't think the uh, samurai sword comes out although to be fair out of this like holster I think it's all just one mold and that which I think to be fair I think the um, I think he never really used it in the show anyway so maybe that's why you know um, paying, as I say, like actual homage to the show, like that that particular 
uh, or that they, they've got it that particular that they just were like, meh, we don't want him to be able to take out the samurai sword in the action figure. Uh, which, I mean, personally for me, it's not too much of a bother because I can uh, I can always use a different action figure samurai sword. I have some of the samurai swords in my uh, action figure collection in terms of the accessories. So as I say, I could just use like Michonne's action, uh, Michonne from Walking Dead's her um, samurai sword if I really wanted to. Um, I think that might work. Um, it also comes with the standard sort of Torchwood uh, base. Uh, which is nice, it has the Torchwood sort of logo embossed and or sort of printed on there as well as two little peg holes for the feet and he does stand on it very well or does support him very well uh, the reason why he's not on the stand if you were wondering is just because of the the, si the side by side comparison with Eccleston I wanted uh, them to be the same height sort of thing um, you know, so that's the accessories detailing. It's as I say, it's pretty, uh, pretty awesome, really. Um, a lot better than I anticipated. I don't know why, but I just thought this one would be just a bit, bit less cool in person. But it's just as cool as I kind of pictured it in my head. You know, um, it could have been cool that they, they weathered the jacket maybe a, a bit more. It's just this sort of dark reddish color, but it is really cool that they've added the sort of this bit has like a raised texture to it, you know, on your thumb, which is kind of satisfying and, and cool. Um, the, the sort of jumper or the main sort of piece there is just obviously like a sort of beige colour. And then you've got like all the belts and the buckles and straps and whatnot. And likewise with the shoes, the shoes are just insane in terms of like, you know, the, the like shoes, but then they're like got these sort of boot like thing like say the eighth doctor almost sort of thing but then you've got like loads of um sort of detailing for uh shoelaces as well as all these these three belt buckle like straps you know you get this sort of sense of like this sort of out of time sort of maverick sort of uh sort of bounty hunter-esque slash as I say, a time agent. The head sculpt is very cool and very reminiscent of the character they're trying to capture, I think. Um, and that, and they've even gone to the to the lengths of, because uh, at the cuffs, the black, and at first I, I thought this was just paint bleed or, or like poor painting on the action figure, but um, but it actually has like the, uh, the vortex manipulator under there, like that's the paint that's what that black bit is there if you can see on his wrist so like you could pretend that he's like gonna you know or try and do a custom where somehow you have more of the arm showing and then have like a a, a, a vortex manipulator there you know because i think he did use that in the show it's been a long time since i've watched torchwood but as i say the, the fact that they went to the length of adding that is uh really impressive you know uh, in my opinion um, in terms of articulation, the head goes sort of, uh, I think does full 360 degrees, but obviously there's no need to have it, you know, do that, but it's nice. Uh, they go out like that, as well as out to the sides, and like, you know, you can have him like, literally like, like that, like with the gun, and that. Um, there's no ball joint on the head, so you can't really pivot it downwards or all, but I guess you could kind of make the him do that and then have him like point the gun down like that you know um yeah and then the knees go in at the knees and that and then i think you can sort of split the legs up a little bit but not much because of all the baggage in this in the in the sort of uh crotch area and then um the the feet i think might move i think they might not, I'm not sure um, too much on that, but they could be one sculpt because, as I say, there's so much detail that it would be difficult maybe there to have a joint or an articulation. There's no, like, pivot pivots on the feet or anything like that. It's, um, as I say, pretty close to a character options figure in terms of the articulation and or one of the better... It's it's closer to one of the better later sort of character options sort of figures in terms of articulation and detail 
which is always good because uh, I think when character options are good, they are pretty darn good. Um, and that and uh, yeah, I mean it's a shame that that's not always the case with character options. But as I say, with this uh, figure, they uh, smash smashed it out of the park in my opinion. And um, and yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure why the Torchwood range of figures stopped maybe because of children in uh, the the third series and, and that and what that dealt with or the fact that there just wasn't that much money or that many action figures to make or that many sort of characters I guess I don't know um I mean I've got like Captain Jack from Torchwood I've got the Gwen action figure if you've watched any of my action figure adventure uh my Doctor Who figure adventures you know that I've got Gwen, I've got Captain Jack, and now I've got John Hart, and I oh, I'm the uh, the fish guy. So I think I've got like four of four. Oh, and I've got like a uh, quite a few weevils. Uh, so I've got like four or five Torchwood action figures. Um, but as I say, I just I don't have Yanto and I don't have Tosh. I think they made those two characters into action figures. That would be cool to get them two at some point, maybe. But um, yeah, I'd give uh, John Hart as an action figure a well earned sort of I'm torn between a seven and an eight but I'll be I'll be generous just in case he accidentally tries to to shoot me and kill me. Uh I'll be generous and give him an eight out of ten. Uh so yeah, thanks for watching. Please do uh comment, rate and subscribe.